Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, 3D Math Series, Episode 38. This is Part 3 in Converting. We're going to be converting from a quaternion to a matrix. So if you recall from Episode 12, we have rotation about an arbitrary axis with this nice, really big formula here for the matrix. And we need to put this and solve this in terms of quaternions. So we have cosine zero, uh, theta over 2 and x sine of theta over 2 and y and z sine of theta over 2, representing w, x, y, and z respectively. So we need to derive the same matrix in terms of w, x, y, and z. So we're going to solve for diagonals first, and then we're going to solve for the other uh, elements afterward. So we have m11 here with the formula, and we needed to convert these cosines of theta to cosine uh, theta over 2 so that we can uh, solve in terms of x. So basically we're going to just expand this formula out here and make, kind of make it looks a little more complicated, but it's going to help us derive it a little easier. Uh, we're going to let alpha represent theta over 2 and use the, uh, this trig identity here of cosine 2 alpha is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared alpha and then we can solve for cosine of theta in terms of sine squared theta over 2. And that allows us to go ahead and substitute that back into the M11 formula here uh, in that latter section, and then continue to simplify. Again, we're going to expand out here. And we're also going to use the trig identity of uh, cosine squared theta uh, over 2 is equal to, or 1 minus cosine squared theta is equal to sine squared uh, theta over 2. So this is going to be uh, represented by this. That's another trig identity. So basically this is all just general trigonometry and expansion. You don't really need to know how to do this. You can just use the formula at the end of the episode. But it's kind of a good practice if you want to look at how all of this works and is derived. But it's really not that important, to be honest. Um, but when we get to the final formula here, we can finally substitute w and x because we have terms of nx sine squared over two, uh, sine theta over two and cosine theta over two. So that's our formula right here for m11. Uh, note that this isn't the same as uh, in other places, but it is equivalent. So there is a few other derivations of this formula, and it just kind of depends on how you want to split it out. But uh, these are also equivalent answers here. Um, that are both also equal to what we derived here. So um, just kind of keep that in mind uh, that you may see this in other different way versions, but they're all equivalent, so that's okay. To solve for the non-diagonal, we're going to be kind of doing kind of the same thing. We're going to be using this trig identity here, sine 2 alpha is equal to 2 sine alpha cosine alpha, and then sine of alpha... Uh, uh, theta here. Um, so then we're going to go ahead, sorry, I should have gone ahead and put that out. Gone into the formula that we are given here and use those trig identities once again and expanding until we ultimately end up with our nice simplified versions that we can replace uh, each element with their respective quaternion value in. So 2xy, 2wz. We can do each of these for all of the pieces of the matrix, and you can see kind of the standard formula here for the uh, diagonals. It's going to be 1 minus 2y squared minus 2z squared, in the middle 2x squared, 2z squared, and the last one, of course, 2x squared minus 2y squared. Um, and then the same thing that we will have xy, xz, uh, xy, yz, xz, yz for each of the first elements. WZ, WY, WZ, WX, WY, WX. Uh, and you're able to just derive each of those. Um, but this is the formula that we wanted. This is the formula that allows us to convert from a quaternion to a matrix. That's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe and give a like. Share on social media if you will, and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for a newsletter. Have a great one. Thanks.